Yarnabees. It's me, Sandy. We are doing a tutorial. We are doing the Cruella de Vil inspired sweater in time for Halloween. I am so excited about this sweater. Uh, I've been wanting to use this yarn since it came out and uh, I was like, oh, Yay! This is going to be the perfect sweater to do it with. I'm sorry there's all these shadows. I'm doing this at night. Uh, the next part of the video will be done during the day. So it the lighting will be a lot better. Um, I'm trying to... Yeah. That's about as good as it's going to get for now. <laughs> okay. So, the yarn I'm using is Bernat Blanket, okay, and this is just um, called Coal. It's just the regular black. Okay, it's a bulky six, super bulky six actually. Uh, it calls for a size eight millimeter hook, but we're gonna change that. Okay, it's 100% polyester, and yeah. The next one is the one that I'm excited about. And this is the Bernat Blanket Tweeds. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be perfect for this. Okay, uh, this color is Ivory Tweed. So it's uh, like an ivory, white ivory with um, black. It's like, I don't know, can you see that? It's like little black threads. It's really cool. And I'm just, I'm so pumped about it. Okay, now it calls for an eight, eight bleh, let's try and get this out, Sandy. A medium eight, no, eight millimeter hook. <laughs> Holy cow, I must be tired, guys. Um, I am going to use a 10, just so it gives it that big bulky feeling. Okay, so this is my size 10 millimeter furls hook. You can use whatever um, hook you do, you use. Okay, now the way I want to construct this, this is not going to be like all of my other sweaters. I usually do with my other sweaters is I do the whole back and then I go and do two separate pieces or two pieces that are um, just ongoing that go over your shoulder and down the front. This one, because it's a Cruella de Vil inspired sweater, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so these, I'm trying to bring, bring you in a bit here. Okay, so for my measurements, which is approximately a two between a 2x and a 3x probably more of a 2x depending um i am going to do these measurements okay now what you're going to do is you're going to take your oops you're going to take your measuring tape um and you're going to measure and this is going to sound kind of strange you're going to measure from the side underneath your arm across your breasts to the other side underneath your arm. Now the reason why you're going to do it across your breasts and not across your waist or across your uh, upper chest or anything is because your breasts are the biggest part of your front. Okay. Uh, or in most cases. Okay. So you want your sweater to be able to go over your breasts without it riding up in the front. Okay. So, um, yeah, so you're going to measure that. Mine was 28 inches. Okay. And then you're going to half that, whatever your measurement is. Mine's 14 and 14. So both sides of my sweater is going to be 14 inches each. Okay. And then I'm thinking I want to do it about 28 inches long. Okay. Or 20, sorry, 26 inches long. Um, I may, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot for 26 inches. It might be a little too short for me, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so you're gonna measure <clears throat> when you're measuring this. Just measure um, from wherever you want it to sit on your on your waist. If you want to sit, it want it to sit at your bum, or if you want it to be longer than that, or wherever. Put the measuring tape over your shoulder and bring, pull it down to where you want it to lay there, right? Okay, so and that's how you're going to get that measurement. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start off with the, uh, the Bernat Tweed, just so, because then you'll be able to see it. Um, the because you won't be able to see the black very well. Okay, so you're going to make your slip knot. All right. Okay, now I'm not going to go through this foundationless double crochet very much because I'm just going to link the um, the video down below. Uh, and you know, a lot of you are going to be doing just a chain, so you're just going to you know do your regular chain, okay, uh, and do 71 chains or however many it's going to take for you to get the inches that you need. Okay? All right. So, if you are doing, oops, the foundationless double crochet, you're going to chain 3. Okay? Yarn over. You're going to go into that very first um, chain. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay? And there's your first two double crochets. Okay? You're going to go down to the bottom here. You're going to yarn over, you're going to go through that loop there. Pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, you go to the bottom here, yarn over, pull, oops, go through, pull up one, yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now if you turn it sideways, you're going to see you've now got four double crochet. Okay, there you go. Okay, and then you're just going to keep on going until you have 71. Yarn over, go in the bottom stitch. You're always, this is the way it's going to look but you want to turn it to the side so that you can see your stitches. Okay, so you're going to go in the bottom here, put your hook through, pull through one, pull through one, pull through two, pull through two. Okay. All right, so continue to do that. Like I said, if you're doing the chain, you're going to chain 71, turn your work, and do a row of double crochets all the way to the end. And then it's going to look just like this. Okay? All right, I will do my 71, and I will meet you back when I'm done. Okay, so I've done my 71 chains, or foundationless double crochets. So now all you're going to do is you're going to chain up two, turn your work, and start doing double crochets all the way back. The other way. Just plain double crochet. Oops, 
totally missed that one. Okay, just go in your double crochet and do a double crochet. Just go in each stitch and do a double crochet all the way back. And that's it. That's what you're going to do for the whole side. Okay. Now, like I said, your measurements will be different than mine, but I'm going to start with 15 rows and uh, see how that lays on, how that fits on me. Because what you're measuring is from under your arm to the middle of your chest. Okay. Okay, so when you're finished your rows, however many rows you're going to do, you're going to turn it this way. You're going to put it up over your shoulder and down. So you can fold it in half basically. And you're just going to go put from your stomach up and over your shoulder to your back and make sure that it's long enough for you. Okay, and uh, and then and f then see from the middle, like um, underneath your arm, right across to the middle of your chest, and make sure that this is wide enough. Okay, and when you're done that, I come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so. You're going to hear life noises in the back. It's um, football Sunday, so George is home watching football, so <laughs> you may hear him. I have finished the back part uh, of my one side of my sweater. And what I did was I put the two pieces together, okay? Just put them together. <clears throat> and then what you're going to do is you're going to put stitch markers from the bottom up to about halfway okay and then you're going to try it on you're gonna try like just halfway there you're gonna try it on and you're gonna see um, I had to take one less one out um, so it's a little bit less than half just so that it had room to go over my shoulder. Okay, so you're gonna try that on, make sure it all fits well. And then what we're gonna do is, oh, hang on. You're going to open it up. It's kind of hard to do what, it's like really big. So it's kind of kind of be hard to do, to show you. But you're gonna open it up and flip it here so that it's okay so here's the front opening okay so then you're gonna go on the sides I'll do this side because you can't see the black you're gonna go on the sides and you're gonna put stitch markers all the way up and you're going to figure out how big you want your armhole. Okay. I do mine around mm, eight, nine inches long. So you're going to do stitch markers all the way up till you get the, the size armhole that you want. Okay. You're going to do that on both sides and you're going to try it on again. And you're going to make sure that everything fits the way you want. Once it's all tickety-boo, then we're going to start putting it all together. I'm so excited! <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the back first. Okay, so I'm just going to pretend like, pretend like I've got all the stitch markers on the sides. This is a stitch marker going up the back. Okay, <clears throat> so then we're going to, oh, here going to do the slip knot 
and this is going to be kind of hard to see because it's black. Okay, take out the first stitch marker, put your crochet hook in, okay, pull it through, and there we go. Okay, so now it's attached. Okay, then you're just going to find each space. So you're going to put the stitch markers in between each of the spaces, right? That's all I did. Okay, so then you're just going to go through, whoops, each of the spaces and do a single. Uh, um, yeah, single crochet. Okay, and you can take out that one. Go into the next one. We'll do a single crochet. And don't do these tight because otherwise it's going to buckle your whole sweater. Okay, go into the next one. Oops. Take out this one, and you're going to go single crochet, okay? And you're just going to keep doing that all the way up until the last one. Single crochet, there. Okay, single crochet, okay? And you're just going to keep doing that all the way up. When you finish that, um, then I'll, I'll come back and show you how to do the sides. It's exactly the same, but I'll come back anyway. Okay, you guys, my sweater is all together. The sides are done. Whoops. The sides are all done up. And the back is done up. And now we're going to do the sleeves. Okay, so, ooh. okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to count how many stitches we have around the sleeve. Okay, so I, I count the posts, like how many posts. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27. I got 27. Um, hang on, I'm just writing that down. 27 on this side. And then I'm going to count and make sure that there's 27 on this side. Uh, where are we here? It's hard to see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 27. Yahoo! I actually did it right. <laughs> okay, so we've got 27 on each side. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do opposites. On this side, I'm going to do a black sleeve. And on this side, I'm going to do a cream sleeve or white sleeve. Okay, so get all your stuff together, and uh, I'll meet you right back here. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to measure your arm. You're going to figure out, when you tried it on, where did this sit on your arm? Okay, was it right at your shoulder? Was it a little bit below your shoulder? Okay. And then you're going to measure, take your measuring tape, and you're going to measure your arm from your shoulder down. Oops. 
trying to do this with one hand. <laughs> okay, to right about here, like about two inches before your wrist. Okay, because don't forget, we're going to be putting a cuff on here. Okay, so mine is about 18 inches. All right, so what you're going to do is the same way, same thing that you did when you first started the sweater. You're going to make a chain with the same amount of stitches that you had around here. Mine was 27, so I'm going to do 27 um, foundationless double crochets. Okay. Uh, so you figure out how many you have and start doing your chain and your double crochet row. So if you're doing like your chains like this, you're going to do 27 of them or however many you've got. And then you're going to start doing your double crochets in that, oops, in that chain. Okay. Okay, so when you're done that, come back and I will show you what to do next. Okay, so I've got my 27 chains. So now all we're going to do is we're going to do, we'll chain up two, and then we're going to do double crochets all the way across and keep doing double crochets back and forth until you get to the length that you need it. Okay, just do double crochets all the way across and keep going until it gets to about here. Okay, depending on how big you want your cuff. Okay, you could have your cuff this big, you could have it this big, you could have it this big, it doesn't matter. So just do, like, measure when you're, when you're done as much as you want. Put it up to your shoulder and try and measure. Or you, what you can do is you can fold it over and you can put your stitch markers all the way up and then slip your arm through and see where it lays on your arm. Okay, so you're going to do that with this color and then you're going to do it again with your other color with your black okay so then you're going to shape both your sleeves okay so when you've done that then come back and I'll show you what else to do okay so I am finished both of my sleeves the length of my sleeves so now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you've got your your lines here not don't have it this way but put it this way because you'll see the ridges the the lines you're going to fold this in like this and you're going to match up where these lines are okay <clears throat> and you're going to put your stitch markers in where these lines are and match them up. Okay. So there's one. It's going to be a little harder to do it on the black sleeve, but um, I'm sure that you'll figure it out. Okay. You're going to do this all the way down the sleeve. Okay. that 
you're going to start sewing the sleeve together. Now, <clears throat> there's a f you know, a few ways that you can do it, but you you really want to have the sleeve be as flat as possible. Um, you don't want there to be a ridge, too, like too much of a ridge, you know, because if you, if you, if you, you're single crocheting here, it's going to leave a big ridge in here. Okay, so I, I leave it flat. Okay, I've still got my yarn attached here. And what I do, I'll bring you in. Oops, <laughs> sorry, I hit the wrong button. Um, <coughs> ended up turning off the camera. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can bring you in a little bit here. Okay, so what I do is I go in between. Oh, actually, I didn't. Uh, I need to um, attach both the sides here. There. Okay, now what I do is I go in in the we'll take this first one out. I go in the um, first hole. And I grab my yarn and I slip stitch. Then I go on to the other side and I go down into the hole, grab my yarn, pull it up through and slip stitch. Then you come back over onto this side Go down, grab your yarn, pull it up, and slip stitch. Then go to the other side. Oops. Where's the other side? <laughs> I'll take this next one out. Go to the other side. Go down, grab your yarn, and slip stitch. Try to make sure that this yarn is always in the middle, and then you won't have you won't have it all tangled and not know where you're supposed to be going. Okay, where am I? Go down in the hole. You grab your yarn. Whoops. Taking this next one out. Go down in the hole. Grab your yarn and slip stitch. And don't do this really tight. Like just do it nice and loose, really casual like, right? Just don't work it too hard because otherwise it'll just bunch up on you and it'll look terrible. So just keep your, your, your hook really loose. Okay, go down, grab your yarn, pull up. Oops. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Go down, grab your yarn, pull up. And come on, work with me. Slip stitch. Okay. And you're just going to keep on going all the way up. And you're going to see when you look at it, it's nice and flat. There isn't a big ridge. Okay. But like I said, make sure that these are you know, not really tight stitches because this will ride up 
like that and it will look awful. Okay, so if you find that this is starting to all bunch up like that, pull it back and start again and just take your tension off. Okay, so just make sure that when you're doing this you're keeping these lines all in, you know, in a row. Okay, do that on both of your sleeves and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so I have it all sewed up. I've got both my sleeves done. Now you're going to pull it, untuck it. sew it onto the sweater. Okay, so, so grab your sweater piece. Now remember I'm putting this sleeve on the black. Okay, let's see if I can do this with... <laughs> it's going to be kind of hard because I've got so much going on here. going to find your very bottom. It's going to be really hard to see this. Actually, maybe I'll do the other sleeve first because uh, it'll be easier for you to see. Okay. Okay, so you're going to find the bottom of your sleeve. Okay. There's going to be a hole on either side. Okay? That's where you're going to start. Okay. Oops. Okay, now... Hang on. i got to figure out what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay. So you've got your your sleeve right <clears throat> inside out. Okay. And then you're going to, this is really tricky. You can have your sleeve right, the, the right side, the proper side, right? You're going to put that underneath. This is, this is the, the outside. This is the inside of your sweater. So you're going to put your sleeve <clears throat> the bottom of your sleeve where your uh, can you see that in this light here's your edge I'm gonna put that underneath and pull it over okay now here's your inside inside of your sweater here's your ridge I'm gonna pull your sleeve through a little bit so that you can find your edging and you're going to match that edging up to the edging here. I know that's really confusing. Okay, and you're going to put a stitch marker underneath it's all underneath all this stuff. You're going to put a stitch marker to attach the both of them. Okay, and then you're going to go along every couple of stitches, okay, and you're going to put a stitch marker just to hold it in place, okay, you find this hole, you find that hole on this side, and you find the next hole. You find the hole on this side. You put another stitch marker. Okay, and you keep doing that all the way around until your sweater is attached, or your sleeve is attached to the sweater. 
Okay, so then you keep on going all the way around. All right, so if you flipped your sweater back, it's going to be the proper side is going to be out. Okay, I know that sounds really confusing. Keep going and I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay, I've got my sleeve attached. I really hope that this made sense. So let's do the other side and hopefully I can explain it a little better. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to turn your sweater inside out. Okay. So here is the edging. I don't know if you can see that. Here's the edge of the inside of your sweater. Okay. Now you're going to take your sleeve and you're going to have your sleeve right side out. Okay. So this is the outside of your sweater or of your sleeve. This is the inside of your sleeve. Okay, so you're going to have this right side out. Okay, you're going to take this and you're going to slip it inside your sweater. You're going to pull it through. Okay, you're going to find your seam, which is right here. You're going to find the seam of your sweater. I know this is really hard to see because it's black. I'm so sorry. Okay, here's, here's the two seams. You're going to find, oops, find the two holes of the seam and you're going to Put those two together. Okay. Now you're going to go around. You're going to find the holes. Okay. You're going to put the stitch markers in there. Okay. I do like every second, every second hole. You gotta just kind of feel around for them. Okay. Okay. There you go. Put a stitch marker in there. Okay, feel around for the holes. Feel around for there, that hole. Put a stitch marker. Okay, and you're going to continue around. Putting in your stuff until your your um, sweater or your sleeve is completely attached to the sweater body. Takes a little finagling, you know. Just use your fingers and just figure. Just feel. You'll be able to feel the holes.
This is like the hardest part to the whole thing, I think. I mean, once you once you figure it out, then it's uh, pretty easy. But if you've never made a wearable before, it can be a bit confusing. <coughs> And whoops. There we go. Okay, so now if you flipped your sweater in back out in uh, right side out, you'd see <coughs> oops, your sweater or your sleeve is attached. Okay. So flip it back through. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're going to attach with like a single crochet all the way around. Now what you're going to want to do is for the white sleeve you're going to want to use the black um, yarn and for the black sleeve you're going to want to use the white yarn. Okay? I mean I guess it doesn't really matter which one you use but I like to use the yarn that is coordinating with the outside of the sweater, not necessarily the sleeve. Okay, so um, where is... Oh, I don't have enough room here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get our yarn here. Here's your slip knot. You're going to start in the armpit part. Put your hook through. Attach it. Pull and do a, a little attached right there. Okay, now you're going to go through each hole and do oops, a single crochet. Okay. There. You can take your stitch markers out as you go. And you can weave your ends in or um, stitch your ends in as you go as well. Oops. There. Okay, and again, feel around for where the holes are. Okay, go in where your stitch marker is. You can take that out. There. Go to the next one. A single crochet, take out the next one, and just do this all the way around. And you're going to do this on both sleeves. Okay, oops. Okay, all right. So you keep going all the way around, do your other sleeve, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I'm at the end. Now I'm just going to slip stitch to the first double crochet, and whoops, cut my yarn. Okay. And fasten.
else enough. Okay, there you go. Now I've got a couple of things in here that I have to weave in, but our sleeve is attached. If you unfold it, do it right side out. There you go. Your sleeve is on. Okay. There we go. Now we can move on to the cuffs. Okay, now we're going to do the cuff on the sleeve. Okay, I usually do this a different way, but um, I've actually made my sleeve a bit smaller, so uh, I'm not going to have to do one of the steps that I usually do. Okay, so you get your hook, you find your seam. Okay, now you can do these cuffs in either, either this color or black. I'm doing it in black, of course, because why not? It's the hardest thing for you guys to see. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even think about that, but anyway. Okay, so we're going to attach our yarn. Okay. We're going to chain up one. Okay. I usually take my tail and just bring it across so that I can weave it in. Or so I can, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go into the next one. We're going to do half double crochet. Okay. Go on the next one, do half double crochet. Nope. We're going to do half double crochets all the way around. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've got an even amount so that when you do your next part, you're going to have enough. Oh, and I'll show you what I mean when I'm finished doing the half double crochets. that and come back and I'll show you what else you need to do. Okay, I'm finished all of my half double crochets all the way around. Now this next step is you want to set yourself up for doing your front posts and back posts, okay? I haven't attached my yarn yet. Okay, so you want to be, basically this first stitch is going to automatically be a back post. You're not going to actually work it, but when you start doing your front posts and back posts, this is going to sink into the back, so it'll automatically become a back post. You'll see what I mean when we get started. Okay, so you're not going to count that one right now. Okay, so you're going to go around and you're going to count them. And the way I do this so that it makes it a little bit easier is I count them as if they were front posts and back posts, okay? So this one's going to start off as a front post. This one's going to be a back post, front post, 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 back post, oops, front post, back post, front post, back post. Front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post, and front post. Okay, you're going to want to end on a front post. All right? Because this one is going to be your back post. Okay? So now that I know that I've got the right amount, 
I mean, for me to count all the stitches and tell you what it is, it's not going to matter because your sleeve's going to be different size than mine. Okay. So you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. Okay. Now you're going to start your front posts and back posts. Okay. So you chain up one. Okay. Now you're going to yarn over. You're going to go in between your stitch. Oh, no, you're not. We're doing front posts and back posts. <laughs> okay. We're going to go around, go into the back of this first. And I'm sure you all know how to do a front post and back post. But for those of you that don't, you're going to put your hook in the first space, pull it up, and underneath that post. Yarn over, pull through, and then finish your double crochet. Okay. Yarn over. Now you're going to go through the back. Put your hook up. Oops. Up underneath and the next one. Put it over top of that stitch. Pull your yarn through and finish your double crochet. Okay. I know it's kind of hard because it's black yarn, but I'm sorry. Okay. This one's going to be your front post, so you yarn over, put your yarn or your hook down underneath that hook, pull your yarn through, and finish your double crochet. Yarn over. Here's your next post. You're going to go in behind and pull it up, in between, and down. Pull your yarn through and finish your double crochet. Oops. There we go. <coughs> okay. Now you're going to get the ridges. Okay. Now you're going to do that all the way around until you've finished this round. And I will see you when you're done. Okay? Okay. Okay, so I decided that for video purposes I'm going to do this, um, this sleeve in white. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, the front first one is going to be front post. Put your hook down and up through that um, stitch. Pull, <coughs> excuse me, pull your yarn through and finish your double crochet. Next stitch is going to be back post. So you go underneath, put your hook through and down. Pull your hook through and finish your double crochet. Next one's the front post. Go down underneath. Finish your double crochet. Put your hook underneath and over that stitch. Pull through and do your double crochet. Okay, and you're going to keep doing that all the way around. Okay, and what you're going to get is this nice waffling effect. Okay, now as you keep going up, this is going to cinch in a little more and a little more, and it's going to be nice and snug on your wrist. Okay, and that's all you're going to do for this cuff. You're just going to keep doing rows of front post and back post until you get the length that you want. And keep trying your sweater on when every time you do a couple of rows. 
so that you know how long your cuff is and how it fits. Okay. I just love this yarn, how, like not the yarn per se, but the color of the yarn. I know working with blanket yarn is a bit difficult and can be, can fight you sometimes, but the outcome is beautiful. Okay, you can just keep on going and then just keep however long you want, just keep trying it on. Okay, and when you're done, do the other side the exact same way. And when I'm finished both of my cuffs, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm finished them. So I've decided that I was going to do the opposite. Uh, colors just you know for something different <laughs> and uh, I did two rows of the front post back post and now that we're done that we're going to move on to the collar and then uh, we're pretty much done after that um, I might do another row of uh, double crochets around the bottom just to finish it off but uh, yeah let's move on to the collar okay so now what we're gonna do is the collar okay so you're gonna go to the bottom of your sweater where the collar should begin and you're going to attach your yarn I decided I'm going to do mine in black, of course. <laughs> and all you're going to do is double crochets in every stitch all the way around to the opposite side of your sweater. <coughs> Oops. Let's try that again. Okay. So you're just going to do a double crochet in each stitch. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you're going to do that all the way up and around the other side and all the way down to the bottom and then you're going to turn your work or you're going to chain up two chain uh, chain up two turn your work and go all the way back and you're going to keep going until you get the width of your collar after you've done say two rows then try it on and see if you like it if you want it thicker then just keep going until you get it to the to the width that you want it Okay, I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, you guys, it is finished. I did two rows around the collar of the black. And then I did <clears throat> one round of double crochet along the bottom just to finish it off. And it is done. Yay! So what I did was I went on Amazon and I found some um, pins that I thought were kind of cool. I still have a couple more coming, but for now, you remember in the in the um, original Cruella de Vil, 
she had like really long gangly hands. Well, I found these and I thought they were pretty um, like pretty close to what her hands looked like. They have clips on the back, but look, it's got red nail polish and black nail polish. One's silver, one's gold. So what I want to do is I want to put these on here. Just like that. Oops. And there we go. There. There we are. So there is our Cruella de Vil inspired sweater with our cuffs and everything. I am so happy with this sweater. Yay! It's It was so much fun to make. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would love to see pictures of yours. And uh, if you want to put them in my Facebook group at um, Crochet A on Facebook, that would be great. I'm just, I can't wait to see what, how everybody's turned out. So thanks for joining me and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.